Hello, in this video we're going to talk about the different searches that are available to you in Paragon. To start off with, over here on the left side we have a quick search. This quick search will have different fields available for you to use on the fly. You log in, your search is right here waiting for you. The fields that you will have available will vary all depending on your board and MLS decisions of what fields they have made available here for you. In the very top we have a search button. This search button will open up all the different searches, the home base of searches that Paragon can do. The first column is a search by a class or a type of property, residential, vacant land, commercial, right on down the screen. These will also vary per MLS board and the data that you have for your particular MLS area. A residential class, all of these different types of searches here mean that you have criteria bedrooms, bath, price range, an area, county, city, schools, whatever it is that your buyer is asking you for to search for them to get results. If you're a commercial multifamily, your business buyers, your investors are going to look for those kind of criteria with those types of classes. Over here in the middle are specialty search, mapping. Map search is going to give you a means to draw different types of shapes, polygon or circle, around a specific area or around specific listings or specific property to find listings in that area that you've drawn. CMA for comps is used a lot with a subject property and a circle around it with your other criteria that you're going to be using. All of these classes over here searches will also have a map search. Map search is also available right here on your home screen in the quick search. This is a multi-class search. This is a per class map search is available. And then the mapping search here is also a multi-class search. Hot sheet search. This search is going to give you ability to criteria to search for specific listings that are new on the market, price changes, status changes, whatever is determined by your board and MLS as to a change or a new listing that has some data change that is meaning that this property is kind of hot on the market or it's something that you need to know about as the realtor in that market needing to know about these listings. Auto Hot Sheet is a search that keeps track of the last time that you ran a search in the Hot Sheet. Set up a Hot Sheet criteria, save it, and then use the Auto Hot Sheet tool to remember the last time that you ran the hot sheet until the current time and then it starts the cycle again for the future. Property history search. This search is a search that gives you the ability to put in an address, a tax ID, a property ID, an MLS number of a property and find out what has happened with that property, if at all, if anything has happened to that on the market, that that property has been on the market recently maybe in a year or two ago, maybe in five years ago. It's just going to give you the history of if that property has been on the market and what happened to it and when. Inventory search is a search that is designed for agents and brokers, office managers that you can go search and find your own listings and or the broker office firm listings and it gives you information that's privy to just you or to the broker or the office manager about those lift listings. Expiration date example. Tour and open house search is just that. It's a search by a date range on what listings are going to be open on a certain Sunday and from what time. Or on a tour or a caravan it's called sometimes. What listings does an agent have open for other agents to go visit their new listing sometime usually during the week. Address archive is just an address search for very old listings via the address that are archived with not much data left in them because they are very old listings. So those are the basic property searches, listing searches that you can do within Paragon. At the very, very top, I do want to mention there's also an MLS number search box right up here. Put in an MLS number, uh, click the Magnifying glass here in blue, you can do multiple MLS numbers separated by a comma. Other tools that you can use in this box, street name, asking price range with no commas or no decimal points, anything like that, just the number, the dash, and the number. And also search via a listing agent's last name. 
So those are the different types of searches. To learn more about how to do these searches, please watch specific videos on topics you want.